Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at a couple of examples of solving trigonometric equations. I have a couple of examples here. Now I'm assuming that you've done a bit of this before. So these are just a reminder for you. So the first one is cos theta is equal to minus root three over two. Theta is between zero and 360 degrees. So the way we go about doing this is we get cos inverse of the positive root three over two. You might know this one, or you might look it up on your calculator. That's equal to 30 degrees. Now that's a reference angle. That's your reference angle, 30 degrees. What we do then is we go to our unit circle. You write in cast. And we're looking for where is cause negative? Because the original question has a negative root three over two. So cosine is negative here in quadrant two and here in quadrant three. So I'm just gonna sketch in a 30 degree angle into both. There like that, you go from the x-axis up into quadrant two, from the x-axis down into quadrant three. Our first angle will be this angle and our second angle will be this angle. So the first angle, if you are working from quadrant two, you have from the x-axis theta is equal to 180 minus your reference angle, so minus 30, which is going to be 150 degrees. And into quadrant 3, it's 180 plus your reference angle, so theta is equal to 180 plus 30, which is equal to 210 degrees. So that's our first question done there, and the two answers, 150 and 210. For the second one, it's a little different. We have solve sine of three theta is equal to minus one, where theta is between zero and 360. So to solve this, instead of solving for three theta, we let A equal to three theta, and we solve sine of A equal to minus one. Now what we do then, we assume it's similar to this now. So sine inverse of the positive one is equal to a sine inverse of one is 90 degrees so that's our reference angle for this one 90 degrees we're going to draw our unit circle again and cast and we're having a look for where is uh, sine negative okay so sine was negative originally well sine is positive in quadrant one and two 90 degrees is between them so that's positive so it's negative down here at uh, the y-axis between t and c so i'll draw in where it is it's this angle here going like that so that angle is a is equal to 180 plus 90 which is equal to 270 degrees. Now, that's only our first angle because we have three theta, we actually have three more sets of angles. Uh, usually you'd get two angles, but because um, 90 degrees is on an axis, you only get the one. Um, but we still, we're gonna have three revolutions because we have three theta. So it's gonna be 270, then it's going to be 270 plus 360, which is 630. And then it's going to be plus another 360, which is 960. Those are our three, sorry, 990, not 960, 990. Those are our three angles for A, our three solutions for A. But remember, A was equal to 3 theta. So if you want to get theta, you need to divide the three of these by three so theta is equal to 270 divided by three which is 90 degrees it's also equal to 630 divided by three which is 210 degrees and then it's equal to 990 divided by three which is 330 degrees okay so i have some for you to try then you can give these a go uh, tan theta is equal to root three where theta is between zero and 360, and cos of three theta is equal to minus a half, where theta is between zero and 360 degrees. So give them a go, write your answers in the comments, and we'll see how you get on.